How's it going everyone? My name is Jeremy Daly. I am a wedding photographer and I love helping photographers elevate their success with photography. And today we're going to be talking about how to take portraits at coffee shops. And this is a fun topic because if you get a friend, pick their photos while they're drinking coffee, you can get some really cool looks, especially at the coffee shop that you're at. So today we're taking photos here at an awesome coffee shop called Settlement. We're going to be taking photos of my great friend Nigel that's behind the camera right now. And we're going to be putting him down basically right where I'm sitting right now. And we want to put them really close to a natural light of source. Right now we're close to a window, it's giving us nice natural light, and it still has a really cool remote aroma of the coffee shop. Um, we're putting them in the center of this room because if we put them in the back corner, we wouldn't have a background to the photo. If we put them right in the center where we are right now, it's going to be beautifully lit, but also there's going to be great bokeh of the, le the le upside down leaves that are in the background right now. And it's gonna be a really cool dynamic shot instead of just having him with a black background. And that'd be a great shot too. And some nice tips when it comes to taking portraits from coffee shop, use a low aperture. If your lens can go to 1.8, 2.8, shoot at that aperture. Because it's gonna give you a really shallow depth of field, just his eyes will be in focus and whatever behind him will be out of focus. Next tip, get close to your subject. The closer you are to your subject, the more out of focus the background's gonna be. This is called compression. So if you're really far away from your subject, um, the background's not going to be as out of focus. But if you're really close to his eye, or really close to him holding that coffee, or him uh, with that portrait, then it's going to be a really more dynamic shot. Next, I would suggest using a prime lens. If you have a 50mm, that's the best go-to lens. But if you have a kit lens of 18 to 55, I would suggest going farther the way back and zooming into 55, always shooting at 55 because you're going to have better compression. Even though you're shooting at an aperture of 4.5, it's going to be better compression if you're buying natural light window. And today we're going to be shooting on a Nikon D750 with a 50mm 1.4. I'm going to be shooting at an aperture of 2.8 and then I'll tell you my settings uh, afterwards to evaluate what light we have to work with. Awesome guys, so now we're going to be taking a photo of him here in the center of the coffee shop. Like I said before, if he was way in that corner, you're just going to him in a wall. But now that he's in the center, we have all these plants here that's going to really be in the background of these photos. So let's dial in our settings now and start taking some awesome photos of Mr. Walt the Prison Scram <laughs> Alright, so now the settings that I'm using right now is an aperture of 2.8 because I really want him in focus and the background blurry but not too out of focus. I'm shooting at 3 20th of a second shutter speed and 400 ISO. So a nice tip, if you looked at me on this angle right now, you would see a lot of shadows in the photo on his face. So we're going to take that photo and we'll show you why that's a bad photo. So now we just took a photo of him right here. I'm gonna take a photo of him looking more directly at the window or out the window, and we'll show you the difference. Essentially the difference is, is that he's gonna have more natural light on his face, but when he's looking at me over here, there's a lot of shadows on his face, and he's looking towards the tungsten lights and the bad lighting from the coffee shop. But when he looks out to the natural light, it falls onto his face a lot better. But when he looks away from the window, blocking that light. So let's take the second photo and I'll show you a side by side of why you should always look towards the natural light. Oh, I look way better. Is that even look at me natural? Oh yeah. Now you can tilt your chin to look up to your left a little bit. Yeah. So now you guys can see the difference where if he's looking out the out of the window completely, it's very even lighting. When he looks straight with the just side light coming, it kind of looks spooky. He's very dark on one side, but when he looks away from the lighting, he, he only has a little bit of side lighting and it's completely dark. So always get your subject there. So now to make this photo even better, I'm going to stand really close to this window and shoot as if he's looking. So I'm shooting straight at him, but he's looking out of the window. So then I can actually see his full face and he's well lit. And I'm also going to be using uh, the plants as a foreground in the photo to add more of a creative element to it. So I'm shooting through the plant. So depending on your photo shoot too, I like to get my, my clients or my friends or whoever I'm taking photos of laughing. So I like to make jokes at myself or at them or like kind of their personal life. Not at the cost of them, but like kind of just little things that gets them laughing. Uh, it makes really real genuine moments rather than just smile. But uh, depending on your photo shoot, you might want to bring in different levels of humor. Awesome, now a lot of you won't have a 50 millimeter prime lens. A lot of you are gonna have a kit lens that goes from 18 to 55, and it has a constant aperture of maybe four to 4.5 or two, not a constant, a variable aperture. So now I'm gonna be shooting on one of those lenses, and I'm gonna show you 
how you can actually achieve that bokeh dreamy look even if you don't have a low aperture. So the tip is, you can either shoot at 18 millimeters or 55, we're gonna zoom in as much as possible. And then you wanna get as close as possible while you're zooming in. This is gonna build better compression to the photo. I'm gonna show you photo as if I shot at 18 millimeters as wide at close up. I'll show you that photo. And now I'm gonna zoom in and now you're gonna see the difference. Now it's very wide and up close and you can see it's very distorted and doesn't look good at all. But if you zoom in your lens, you're gonna get better compression and then you can get nice and close and it's gonna be a lot better. It's not gonna be distorted. So that's my biggest tip is always zoom in as much as you can and take awesome portraits. So let's take some photos on a kit lens right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm gonna take these photos into Lightroom so you guys can see the behind the scenes of how I'm editing these and how I got to the end result. A uh, nice tip is to post these on Instagram and geotag the location of the coffee shop and also send any photos, take them on Instagram, take them on Twitter, because you might actually make a new connection with the coffee shop owners or they might, they might retweet it. That's a great way to get some extra exposure as a photographer. As again, if you guys want the free presets below, be sure to sign up. Uh, they're awesome presets. I made a 2018 starter pack to start elevating your success as a photographer. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Post them on Instagram. You can take the Jeremy Daily preset hashtag if you guys want to let me potentially post them and connect with you guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.